Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, this is like actually my first video, like Wii video. I'm really excited. I do plan on doing more videos like this in the future. Uh, I hope this is going to be like its own mini series. Uh, today, I'm going to be playing Super Paper Mario, which is a game that I absolutely love. Um, I'm, do I'm going to be doing the entire first chapter today. I have the burger here. Which, uh, let me see the crack of this baby right now, actually. Alright. Alright, here we go. Um, pause that. Where's my remote? I, uh, I lost my remote. Is it behind my computer? Uh,. You kidding me? I, I just had it. I, uh, I don't know where it is. Which is, you know, weird because, you know, it's kind of hard to play the Wii without the remote. Did I drop it? Oh, there it is. All right, there we go. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's coming out of my <laughs> gamepad at the same time. Oh, that is annoying. Nope. <laughs> okay, I need to mute one of these. I've, chose, I've chosen to mute the gamepad. No, no, you know what? I'm going to put my gamepad in headphones. There we go. All right. That way I can hear it in real time, and then you guys can hear it on the video. Okay, so even though I've seen this like a billion times, I'm going to sit through the intro, because it's fun for new viewers. <clears throat> Today, I'll tell you the story of the Lost of the Prophecies. As we open with the episode, this prophetic book was a mysterious tome of the stories of the future of the of course, many people pray for this book, wishing to close it. But no person offers any significant love for the Not to happy to be wise to make The reason the book don't fight the secret is not making surprise, and who wrote it? That book came to be called The Dark Pronosticus. And the sealed one. I used to call it Pronosticus ever since I was a kid. I misread it and never fixed the voice it. This is the tale that Forgotten Book's last owner. It is a tale of love. Not that you'd remember it's a tale of love, because on your first playthrough you forget it. it. takes so long. What happened to me? What is this place? <laughs> oh, you're awake, princess. Yes, I'm going to be doing voices for different characters. Huh? Not really, Peach. I'm not going to do a Peach voice without going up. Yeah, I all said I like this. I'm not going to do that. Bowser! I'm I'm not reading all that. <laughs> What's going on here? Count. Yeah, um, okay, so preparations are complete. Mm, then it shall be begun. By like, what is that word? Baby. Bowser. The ocean and the fear of Sophia were the king of the cuckoos. What the fuck? Blonde Mary, Peach, are you kidding? The answer is no! That would be done. That would not be done. No, Peach. You have a pot. Take a while, just take a while. I uh, thought until you die. No, wait just a second. You want to explain to me what is going on. Right here! <laughs> is it not obvious? This is your wedding, princess. But why in the world am I marrying Bowser? Question for a bunch of five seconds ago. Hey, this is Pedro Rex Missa, the author of Black Oak Life. 
I don't get the details. Yeah, we're going to a lot of trouble playing. We'll uh, We'll get married. We'll be in love. That'd be awesome. Finally. I'm not very love. It's more exciting. No! It's a bit stress out. Awful! Yeah, I'm being rude to see if the town sort of frowned on. I, I can't press the buttons to the light. Is there a camera in the future? Do you teach me about your I will develop it. I'll scream. I don't think it's hard. What is that? You see our players, man. You know what we're saying when you see what you're I do. Say it now, okay? Oop. I. What? Why is Luigi not shit? Anybody ever notice that Luigi has shit? What in the world? Eh? What am I doing here? Hmm? Is that the future of a pet? And that guy is. Ha! That is a big black mark. I never realized how big that thing is. My goodness. <laughs> yes, I'll listen to it. I'll come back. Alrighty, you just unleashed. Chaos Todd. Congratulations, Cal. HA! Best friend in the wretched ever. And just who are you? That's the dumb black fuck that brings me over in the corner of the mountain. I will get my name to the mountain. What's the way to the mountain? <laughs> oh wow, Boing! Boing! Here's my movie to rest in I love how finished. Hey? Eh? I don't give my name to Scoundrel, now once it's going to lead to trouble me. Um, yeah, so we will like to know the thing. Such a thing. Oh, yes. One of the sacrifices. Like, yes, From Count Black! Well, oh, like, I'm all thinking. I was like, now I can't. I can't start this experience right here. Um, so, um, yeah, Count Black, you can see where it's going to be. You can see what you can do. personal achievement, turning the page of the book. Open your mouth, darkness! Consume everything from the throne of the world! I told you the prophecy. Yeah. Well, I've not done like three times since the top back already. Like, wasn't one of them really much Scottish? Alright, so here's Mario. As you can see, I've uh, amassed quite a level. Level 99. Now, I'm gonna call this one Epic Red. Oh, there's no the moon trap in the Um. Uh. H. R. D. Epithet. Close enough. I'm only missing two letters. That's good enough. Use this name? Yes. I think I have a name that's longer than like, I guess. Like Elizabeth. I, mean, like, I, guess, I guess that has a short name. You can use that, I guess. Mario! Wow. Sure is peaceful today, eh, bro? Makes a guy feel lucky to have a peaceful day. Yep. Your peaceful home building board. Makes it just one of them. Come on! What kind of shocking event? 
Ooh, I love the sound effects. Ooh, the Princess Peach is pretty cute. That'd be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit Mushroom Castle. We have been a while. I'm sure the princess will be happy to see us. Who gets out of this chair by putting the leg like, behind the backs? I can't do a third voice without reducing my own dust. Toad? What? What happened? Why are you so crazy? Why are you so crazy? Not in context, I'm It's sh sh shocking! Mushroom Castle! Raiding! Princess Peach! Golden! And then you can chill. What? Like, that's ridiculous! Who in the world would do such a thing? Wow. Jeez, not like this is a recurring thing. Wait, thank you. Yeah, I think I've got it. I'll do you now. Let's hear your point, Professor. Bro, this must be the work of that guy. That bad guy. Ooh, and he remembers me this week. Ooh. Even Mario took a minute to try and think off who he took a call this out. Mario! Mario! Princess Peach has been captured again! Hmm. Now who do we know that captures Peach on a weekly basis? <laughs> I won't stand for this. We'll have to sneak into this castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's go, bro! We're counting on you, Mario. Bros. I love how he almost forgot to count Luigi. So he just adds bros. By non specifically counting Luigi. I always thought it was Bowser's Castle, but I'm not going I wish you could play through Bowser's Castle. I'd be awesome. Oh, if y'all are the last one. Listen well, my idea is getting the castle. It's time to initiate my awesome plot to invade Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine! That that went off the knuckle of the stop! The Mustang, but I hope they all back. Yeah! It's our turn! Woo! What's your turn? I love this. But that one is screaming for all the time. <laughs> Where are the attack? Who joked with the back? I actually think that's not the first time. Hey! Hey! Where are those hairy guys again? You shave around here! Ugh! Mario! Hair? Yeah, yeah, they both showed up this time. How'd you get in here? Gee, it's not like you have the most ridiculous castle ever. My front gate was open. You don't even have a front gate. How many times have I pulled those idiots into the last gate? Lock the gate! This means one of my signs at the gate. That would help. Quiet, you think Bowser will do it. I love how you use the word Bowser as an insult in seven days. Now, where'd you put her? That's a meme song. Where am I? Wait, what? What are we now about to launch our attack? Mario! Help! Oh, yeah, that's super convincing. I don't. I didn't even have to hurt her once I was alive. Princess Peach? Black! Your princess has been taken by Count Black! You. Wait, by who? By me, Count Black, my life is in red. The chosen executor of the dark unlocked is Count Black. The fine yellow prophesies, the fine fellow prophesies to come to the convention. Is also Count Black, I'm a heart saying yellow. I'm gonna tell you who doesn't make even a little bit of sense. Count Black! Oh, that was about Get up! No defensive speech right now. I'm on a schedule over here. Count Black said, Ah! Princess is she will also be brought to Bleh, I know how to read today. She will be brought to Castle Black and need to destroy all the world. I know, Black, maybe we have to buy stuff, you know, swiveling my office. That might be all Destroy all the world? <laughs> nice going, Mario. What do you need that doing? Oh, no, Luigi's on! Oh, man. Luigi, what are you trying to do? Fly? 
This man deserves ridicule. We please turn off the face and help you next. Hey, here's a thought. You come down and free the princess. Or else. <laughs> Your princess shall not be returned by her. In fact, Bowser, you will be able to come back to take you too. <laughs> okay, here's my question. How come Mario wasn't sucked up in all my head? Complex preparations are now in order. Well, that remains for the dimension of void to appear as what's all in the prophecy. <laughs> Seriously, why didn't Mario get sucked up into the void? That doesn't make any sense. I... Mario. Mario. Sounds like my ringtone, actually, for when I get a notification on my phone. Are you awake? Oh! My name is Tippy. I am what is known as a pixel. Sort of fairy. Mario, I came to find you. Where'd you come from? I am no enemy. You met Count Black, and he captured a princess and an evil king. Is this not so? Yeah. And that means Count Black is even now beginning to form the void. I love how Mario literally only has like three speaking roles. We haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Oh look, it's the same program they used to skew Mario's image when he was in the void. So soon, Kippy? And who might this be? Red shirt, blue overalls, and the magnificent sponge. Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. He matches the description of the hero in the light of this is perfectly. You know, I have a small mustache myself. If I put on a red hat and blue overalls, would she have taken me instead? And his name is Mario. No, the other Mario. Yes, you! I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Poopside. You have come far from the Mushroom Kingdom of Northern Mushroom. Of course, our flat fair Poopside is in no dimension at all. No! It is between dimensions. Is there an in-between dimensions? I'm not sure. My name? Well, not. No one asked. I am a descendant of the ancient creation of this town. I love how Merlon is a play off of the name Merlin from Sword and Stone and Northern and all that all those stories. I busy myself studying musty ancient texts to forestall the end of all worlds. They're just stalling me. Uh, you want to know about the end of all worlds? Who got it? So Tippy has not yet told you I gather. Well then Mario, the answer hangs above you. Wow, that's a fancy chandelier, I can't even see the string. Do you see the gathering darkness in the sky? It is a hole in the very dimensional fabric of space. Such a strange phenomenon. I don't even have a name. Interdimensional black hole. They call it the void. Is it near or far? None know. It may appear small now, but it will only grow. Yes, I can confirm it will grow. And in the end, it will swallow all existence. All worlds. All dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Black, who wields the dawn of us. Well, like I said earlier, I used to call it Prognisticus because I read this as a kid, and I just call it Prognisticus without actually fully reading it to make sure I was reading it right. It's actually based off the word Prognosis, which makes a lot more sense than Prognosticus because Prognosis is not a word. A fair and lovely princess, a furious monster king, the union of these two will call forth the Chaos Heart. 
consumer of more- Oh, that was Tippy. <laughs> I thought that was Merlot speaking. You know, I didn't notice the RGB voice border. And the chaos part will ravage the sky, and so bring forth the void. Mario's dumbfounded, he's like, whoa! Yes, the passage Tippy just quoted is from the light of my this from my ancestors. The book also says this, the void will swallow all of it. Not can stop it. Not? So I just gotta be naughty, okay? What if I throw you off the tower? Is that naughty enough? Unless the one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of eight pure hearts will rise to this task. So it's written. Don't believe everything you read, man. Where were you keeping that? You're just keeping that in your untrimmed beard? This is one of the eight pure hearts. You are surely the hero spoken of the page of the life of Nocturne. You are the only one who can defeat Trump's left and save all the world. You know, this video's taking so long, I might just stop after this. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. <laughs> nah. Nah, I don't wanna. I'm kidding. I've done that before, it would give you a hangover. That's excellent. You truly are the hero of the Book of Legends. Wow, that's like too many conjunctions. My eyes never deceive. Where are your eyes? Why are your eyes glowing? So, <clears throat> Mario, our brave hero, take this! The pure heart has been thrust into your possession. I don't have a firm on my screen. I think I even have Now, great hero Mario, our first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you are through with this task. This way. When up appears on the red direction, uh, press the red direction on the D-pad to examine the things talk to people. I have a better idea. This is, like, much, much more faster. Hey, Ron! The heart pillar is this way. Come on, please. The only reason I did that is because, like, five times faster than, you know, going down the normal way. For the unskippable elevator. This is the heart pillar. Now, get close to the pure heart. Are you kidding? Mario's not nearly tall enough to do that. I love how he reacted before Mario. Well done. Now let's return to Marvel. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stop that bit. I think I'm just gonna... Alright, so I'm not doing chapter one today. This is the prologue. Sorry, I got distracted. Perhaps you should strike the block before we head to Merlon. Boink! I try to save my progress every time I pass the save block. I really don't like that you can't skip this. It's like an unskippable cutscene. In fact, the game wanted me to go here instead of jumping off the tower like a psycho and saying, Ah, two of you return! Look, a door has appeared. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. Yoink! Probably my most used item, to be honest. With this, you'll be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. 
Use it whenever you feel you must try to return to her. If you reserve a turn pipe, just go to the important things on the menu screen. Just remember that in some areas, the signal from the flip side might not reach. The light prognostic is what tells that the hero will meet a dimension government. And from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I'm almost certain this refers to my friend, the flip wizard Vistovius. So go now through this door and seek out Vistovius. Well, let's get going! Unfortunately, that's all the time I have to record for, uh, for today. But, um, I will absolutely try to do all of Chapter 1 the next time I record. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below, comment, uh, subscribe. I'm definitely going to be doing an entire playthrough of this game, as well as a few other games. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna do Splatoon soon. Um... You know, uh, as sort of like a follow-up to my uh, Splatoon 3 trailer reaction video. But, yeah! I'm gonna post this, and I'm gonna keep doing the entire series. No matter how unpopular it is. I hope it gets, like, more than 10 views per video. That'd be nice. But, yeah, if you enjoyed, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. See you guys next time.